I see some hollowing in one of the trimmed branches. That, of course, might create some rot off this spot. We come up and there's a couple of live branches, but then the end of the main branch is dead. We'll cut all that out. This is a huge tree, probably planted in 1974. And it's so powerful that it really doesn't, you would almost not need to prune it, except that if you don't prune it, the cherries are pretty small. So it's good to prune, take about half those blossoms off, and your fruit will be a lot larger.